Hello you beer tubers, welcome to another beer review with Peter, the master of hobbits and even the Yarl of Yeast. <laughs> and today guys, well what do we have uh, for reviewing? Dad. This is a double Simcoe and it looks pretty exciting for me. Yes, it's uh, made by Weyerbacher Brewing Company and it's uh, as Dad said double Simcoe, they're double IPA on 9% and 90 IBUs, uh, double IPA only featuring Simcoe hops. Now, this beer I reviewed way back in the day, in 2011. Actually, we were able to get a good deal of Weyerbacher beer in Denmark for a while, but they, like a lot of other American brewers, all of, all of a sudden disappeared, <laughs> which is strange. I really like the newer labels they've done on their beers much more. It looks pretty cool. Mm. And uh, there's this version which is the regular version and then there's the unfiltered version. And the unfiltered version I reviewed in 2012 with the Winton the Beer Tuber in uh, San Francisco. So yeah, this should be interesting to have again. I haven't had this since 2011 because it hasn't really been available since. Thanks a bunch to David in the US for sending this one out in the huge beer mail. Should be fun so, to try this again. So let's get it cracked open and see how it is. So we got the double Simcoe by Wirebucker Board, and um, it's funny that there is an unfiltered version. This looks pretty unfiltered. <laughs> pretty unfiltered. I wonder how, I can't, I mean, I can't really remember how the unfiltered looked. Uh, hazy, I guess, but this looks kind of like, pretty unfiltered. I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but maybe they merged the two beers together. I'm just, I mean, you guys let me know, as far as I can see on like rape beer and stuff, they still have separate entries for this and the unfiltered. But what would you call the color, Dad? Well, I'll see amber colored. And yeah. I don't mind it's unfiltered. I th think sometimes the unfiltered versions has much more taste than the filtered versions. Yeah, and the head on there is quite nice as well. It's kind of like an off-white color to it, slightly beige almost. But do you want mm -hmm. to check out the aroma on the double Simcoe by Weibacher? I would love to. Let's take it out then. A uh, grapefruity, earthy, earthy, I mm -hmm. think. It's not as stank as I remember uh, no. Simcoe. Mm -hmm. And it, I think this is a fairly fresh bottle. It says uh, it's only got a best before date, so. Uh, it says late 2015, but. It's grapefruit, it's stank, slightly pineapple, but I'm also getting a good deal of malt. Yeah. Like a sweet maltiness yeah. to it. Yeah. What about you, Luis? Uh, I'm. Uh, <clears throat> A, a bit amazed that it don't smell more. Yeah, for a double IBA on many yeah. of you, it's not yeah. super in your face. But maybe it's not you, the you, you smell the grapefruit and uh, yeah, the pineapple and um, yeah. It smells nice though, but it's not just super in your no, face. No, 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 no. You want to give it a taste? Mm. Maybe it's more dank and intense on the flavor. Cause I think it's yeah, I think so. Let's try it. Cheers. And thanks a bunch to David for the beer. It's really bitter. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's, it is dank. And really bitter. Yeah. Really bitter. Um, but not as juicy. It's actually more in the kind of, for me, maybe not as much East Coast, maybe a little more traditional old school American IPAs that were super grapefruity. Um, it's kind of in that vein, I think. Uh, it's really grapefruit forward. Very, the bitterness is, is very intense. Yeah. And uh, there's... Um, I don't pick up a lot of grapefruit. Uh, I, I pick up the, 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 the citrus and the, the grapefruit, but not a lot of it. No, actually, maybe there's maybe a, a good deal of pine and earthy notes to it as well, like the piney, resiny, evergreen, earthy notes. Mm, mm. It's like up front you get some of the grapefruit, sweet, citrusy kind of dank flavors, slight pineapple, but then in the back end you get a lot of bitterness and earthy, resiny, dank or flavors kind of. I like the bitter beers, so for me it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it, I, I do like it as well. Back in the day, I gave it a, an eighty-seven, and I'll stick to that. Uh, it's it's a really nice double IPA, but I prefer the like tropical punch bowl IPA. So. I'll, I'll be there with you. Uh, it's I really like the bitterness of it, but 
if I had to go higher, you had to have a bit more of this fruitiness. Yeah. We have to remind that we just had one... That was super juicy. <laughs> that was super so juicy. So that's the difficult thing when you drink like uh, different IPAs in a row. So guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Weyerbacher Double Simcoe IPA if you've had it. Thanks a bunch to David for the beer. Your rule man, crazy big beer mail you sent. So that was great. <laughs> so yeah guys, that does it for this beer review. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And we're going to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review. <laughs>